Okay, somebody please tell me who makes the rules when it comes to age-appropriate clothing or what we as older men should or shouldn't wear. Because if you watch YouTube videos about this topic, it's kind of all over the place, right? With only some consistencies. So today I wanted to voice my opinion as someone who's actually over 40 when it comes to wearing jeans over the age of 40 and beyond. If that sounds interesting, stay with me. All right, welcome back to my channel. And as always, I'm glad that you're here. So right off the top, in this video, I'll start out by expressing my opinion as a 51 year old who wears jeans almost daily. And I also wanna talk about different jean styles and colors that I think look best on older gentlemen. But first, let me make a statement. So here's how I see things. If you are healthy enough to climb a couple flights of stairs without keeling over dead, you're healthy enough to have sex. And if you're healthy enough to have sex, you are qualified to wear jeans, period, end of story. I get comments on videos and Instagram DMs saying that men over 40 should not wear jeans. And I think that's complete BS. However, there are certain styles of jeans that I might not necessarily agree with, but that's just my opinion. And I even get similar comments saying that men over 40 shouldn't wear shorts. So I made a whole video dedicated to just that topic. And if you wanna go check it out, I'll link to it right down below in the description. Now listen, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, but I think the issue comes from most men not wanting other people to think that they're trying too hard to hang on to their youth. Because we've all seen those guys in their late 40s who still dress like 15 year olds. On ham bone! <laughs> Check it out! Ham bone! As pathetic as that may be, that's his choice, right or wrong. He's a grown man and he can wear whatever the heck he wants, regardless of whether myself or anyone else might think that that's a mistake and not age appropriate. So I'm gonna talk about several specific styles of jeans that I believe work very well for older guys. But since I just mentioned holding on to your youth, I wanna talk for just a minute about today's sponsor, Tease Hanley. So this is uncomplicated skincare for men. And it's what I've been using as part of my daily post shower routine for the last four years. Now you may not want to do anything about your skin, but you are smart enough to know that taking care of the skin on your face is one of the best and easiest ways to keep your skin in good shape and looking its absolute best. Teach Hanley has everything you need and it's so simple to use. And with all their products, you're getting high quality natural ingredients with antioxidants to counteract wrinkles and also enhance collagen replacement to help firm up your skin. The Daily Face Moisturizer has an SPF of 20. So if you're currently not using any sun protection, this is a great way to get started. And they've got a few different levels that you can choose from. And personally, I've been using the level three system for the last couple of years now because I want that super serum. But if you start with the level one, it gives you all the basics. Face wash, an exfoliating scrub, and also morning and nighttime moisturizers. Teach Hanley is gonna pony up for this audience with a very cool offer. All you've gotta do is just click the special link right down below in the description and go take a look. My friends, you have got to give this a try. Okay, let's talk about the different styles and colors of jeans that I think look best on more mature men. So first up are slim or athletic slim jeans. So this is what I wear. And if you're an average build guy, this is probably gonna be your best option. So this cut shouldn't be overly tight and you should have some room through your seat and your thighs. They should also have a pretty nice taper from about the knee down to your foot to reduce all the extra floppy fabric down at your foot. And if you're a slightly bigger gentleman, you're probably gonna benefit from slim straight or athletic straight jeans. So from the knees up, this is gonna be very similar to the slim or athletic slim jeans I just mentioned, but instead of tapering down towards the foot, it's gonna be a straight cut from about the knee all the way down. This provides more room for your legs and it also helps visually balance out your silhouette. And if you're carrying more than a few extra pounds, I might suggest going with a relaxed cut. However, I would avoid very loose cut jeans that are just way too oversized and baggy. Something along the lines of a relaxed fit should give you the room that you need in your seat and your thighs, while also maintaining the full leg cut all the way down to your foot. Because really the last thing you need is something just completely oversized and baggy or something skinny or even skin tight. 
And for colors, in my opinion, dark wash denim is really a no-brainer and will always look good because it's just so easy to dress up or wear casually. For example, dark denim with a sports jacket looks killer and makes a terrific date night wardrobe. But you can also just throw on a casual pullover, run errands around town all day, or belly up at your local sports pub and watch the game. Now, dark wash denim isn't all that works, right? I also believe that a medium wash works really well, but I might avoid this very light blue denim. So the younger guys are wearing this color right now because there's this whole 90s trend happening currently, but the rest of us, we should just kind of stay in our own lane and remain focused on the classics. Also, light and dark gray denim are also solid choices, along with, of course, black. Now, I'm okay with some mild distressing or whiskering in the front because I think that's a pretty cool look, but that's about as much as I like on an older gentleman. Again, stick to the classics. And please, I would love to hear from you down in the comments with your opinion on wearing jeans over 40. And if you like this video, please tap that thumbs up button to let the YouTube algorithm know that more people should see this video. Until next time, my friends, live well, stay healthy, and I do hope to see you again very soon.